Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelly and I'm so glad you guys are here today. I am getting into, finally, this Man Eater palette by Tarte. Man Eater After Dark, I guess is what it's officially called. They have a bunch of Man Eater like themed products, mascara, etc. Anyway, everybody else has used this palette. Sorry, I'm late to the game as usual. You don't come here for the for the new releases, or if you do, you're disappointed. Uh, anyway, I had I had picked this up, and it's so so pretty. And I thought I need to get my I need to get my brush into it. It's not new in the market. It not new in the sense that it's been out for mm, when I'm filming this. It's probably been out for three months, uh, give or take mm, two two three months maybe. So you guys are gonna see this in December. It's almost December when I'm filming this. I'm, I'm not too far behind. I'm a little far behind, but I'm not too far behind. Anyway, you guys, I, I thought I would do three looks with this because it's so beautiful and everybody talks about how great it is. And I haven't even used it yet because I put it aside to film with, and then I had new releases and then I got my declutter craziness that's been going on. So let me grab a couple brushes here. See if it fits my criteria of what I'm looking for in a palette. Usually for me, I'm looking for something, can I get something like work appropriate? Can I get something date night? And then can I get something that is wearable every day? Maybe a little bit more interesting than just like a stay at home day, but, or you've got a, you know, a few more minutes. Maybe you're gonna go out in natural daylight. I always think of like farmer's markets, you know, coffee with the girlfriends, that kind of thing. So if you're gonna be out in regular life, does it give you a look that's interesting for that? So that's kind of what I'm, what I'm looking for here. I gotta take this ring off because it's spinning. That's not a bad problem. That means that I'm not retaining water, <laughs> which is really good. So I don't have anything on my eyelids right now. I'm gonna throw a little bit of this uh, Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer on my eyelids. I've been using this nonstop and I absolutely love it. I don't know that it makes the best um, eyeshadow primer, but we'll go, we'll go ahead and lay this down first to kind of minimize the discoloration that I've got going on. Because with the whole light not new, skin's not new. Anyway, you guys, how is everybody? I feel like a lot of people are coming down with something right now. Nobody's calling it COVID. And I don't know that anybody's you like tested positive. It might just be like regular, like the old fashioned flu we had before COVID, but I'm not really sure. So tell me what you're hearing on the news because I haven't even been looking at it. All right, so for a work look, I tend to go very monochromatic, very neutral, right? So I'm gonna start with this shade right here, which is kind of like a bone colored shade. It's called Charming. I'm gonna use the mirror on this palette, a little bit of kick up, kind of what I would expect. But I'm gonna put this all over my lid to lay down that concealer. And if you guys are new here, hi, welcome. Thank you, I got a weird shadow. I am not a professional makeup artist right? So this is just kind of a lay person's take on it. Sometimes that's what you need. It's not somebody who's going to come at you with all the technical jargon and just be like, give it to me real. <laughs> like, tell me really what's going on here. Okay, so I'm going to take this neutral colored brown over here. So the first one's called Charming. This one's called Temptress. This is an interesting palette because it's very thin. It's a plastic hard case. It's dark with this textured front, and then it's got a reflective back. And the reflective back could be a mirror, but it's kind of like a little bit of a funhouse mirror. And then it has a decent size mirror on the inside. And I don't see any kind of protective sleeve on it. It does say Tarte Man Eater, but this doesn't open all the way. Oh uh, yeah, that's as far as that it opened, just in case that matters to you. So actually, I could almost put it down on the desk and see it, but not quite. So I'm gonna have to hold it up here. So anyway, I'm going into that kind of taupey brown called Temptress. I'll lay this into the crease a little bit here. Again, my experience with makeup does not make me a professional, right? Nobody pays me to do makeup. I have to throw that out there just so that you guys don't go, oh, she's doing it wrong. So these, these are things that I've, I've learned and I've experienced over the years. So when I, and the reason I'm disclaiming that because some people will say, hey, don't you usually tap on your eyeshadow when you're doing like crease stuff, like I pat it on like this. And that is true when I'm not sure how much moisture I have on my eyelids. Like if I put down a, uh, a an eyeshadow, eyeshadow base or an eyeshadow primer and I don't know if it's dried down, if it's dried down matte, if it looks a little radiant, like I use that radiant concealer. If I would have put this directly on top of it, I would have tapped it in there so it didn't look too patchy regardless of, of the quality of the eyeshadow. That's just a technique that I do because I laid down that bone shade first, that charming shade, and kind of set my eyeshadow uh, or set set that eye base. Uh, and now I feel like I can go in and kind of just sort of blend in the shade and use either windshield wiper movements or small circle. Instead of having to tap it on, it seems like it's going on very well. Now that's a pretty subtle shade. I mean, I did sheer it out pretty well. I'm gonna go into a little bit of a darker shade here. I think I'm gonna take this one called Passion. I want a little smaller brush than what I've got in front of me here. So I'm gonna grab this one. Okay, so I'm taking Passion, which is this kind of warmish brown color. It's up here. Now, I can already tell you that when I do 
a work look. I'm usually one or two shades and that's it. I'm gonna take this kind of all over my lid, I think. And I tend to wear a lot more mattes like I'm doing right now. And, and I'm just picking up a little tiny bit at a time because I don't want it to be too bold, but I want it to be sort of, I don't want to say soft, but I want it to be uh, color or eye enhancing without having it look like I'm too much effort into it. All right, so blending those kind of three shades together, that's giving me very much an absolute work appropriate look. I'm gonna deepen this up a little bit out here because I want the illusion. Yeah, that's okay. I might even go just a little tiny bit darker on the outside, but I think if you're thinking natural daylight, this, this is absolutely a work appropriate look. I feel like I need, so I just picked up a little bit of alluring, which is this darker kind of reddish brown. Little tiny bit of patchiness right here, but I think that's my eye, not the shadow. Okay, yeah, that works okay. Now, here's what I would do if I wanted to do just a little tiny bit of something sparkly for work. I would grab one of these other, they've got some really shimmery sort of metallic shades. I think I'm gonna take this one right here called On the Prowl. I'm hoping it's not too glittery. Love the texture of it. It's very, very soft to the touch, first of all, but then it also has this textured kind of leopard print. I think it's leopard print? Leopard print, it sort of matches the cover on it, but it's actually a textured, almost like embossing on the actual uh, on the actual shadow itself. A little handy bit more. That's actually really pretty. I didn't scoot you guys in enough, but that's throwing just a little bit of sparkle on the eye without being like a full on glitter moment. Okay, put some mask. Okay, honestly, for a work, I just got mascara on the outside of this package. I hate it when they do that. For a work appropriate look, that is absolutely something that I would do. It's soft. It gives my eyes just a little bit of lift. Browns on browns. I mean, you can't really go wrong with that. A good mascara. Yeah, that's absolutely something that I would do. No doubt about it. Okay, let's do something that I wouldn't do for work on this side. Let's kind of take it up a little bit. I think I want to do something with these kind of more burgundy color. So I'm going to grab this shade over here, which is sort of a soft mauve color called Lust. It's so funny what they name things. I'm like, is that really the color of Lust? Uh, so I did not set this eyeshadow down over here. I'm actually going to use that kind of mauve color to begin. Uh, and hopefully, hopefully if it if there was any moisture, maybe it dried down just a little bit in the time it took to dry. Yeah, a little tiny bit of patchiness because I didn't set it down, but it's not it's not bad. I'm so I gotta ask, did you guys get this palette? Were you waiting for someone else's review? I know a lot of people reviewed it, and I've seen it shown up on a few people's like top best of palettes lately, which makes me super happy. I've still got this little bit bigger brush. This is a refer 15. I'm gonna take this raspberry shade over here called Moody. It is a matte, uh, kind of plummy, plummy pink. I mean, raspberry is kind of like the shade that I would, it's a little darker than that. I would call it maybe plum or wine, <laughs> wine, wine colored, depending on what kind of wine you drink, I guess. Yeah. You guys, it feels so good to sit down and film. It's been such a crazy week when I'm filming this. It just seems like everything has just been go, 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 go. And kind of sitting down and actually being able to just talk to you guys and hang out with you. It, and if you don't know, you should by now, but if, you, if you're if you new and you don't know, I'm not a monetized channel. I'm not a, a, a channel. I didn't, I didn't do this to necessarily make money. I didn't do this because, oh, I want to change my job. I love my job. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely adore my job. I'm really, I feel really good about my job, confident in my job. I feel appreciated in my job. Like this is not, this was never meant to replace my job. This was just to be a, a, a stress reliever. Most of the time it is. <laughs> Unless I give myself crazy, um, crazy goals, crazy deadlines that don't really need to happen. Okay, I'm gonna take this shade down here called Insatiable. I couldn't decide if I wanted this one or this one. This one seems like it has a little bit more of a, almost like a warmer base, whereas Nocturnal is a little cooler. This one's uh, again called Insatiable. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that on a flat brush. This is again, this is Refer 28. I don't do a very good job of telling the, boy, that's a, actually a very vibrant color. So I'm taking a little higher. I don't always do things that are too sparkly out here on the outer portion of my eye because I feel like I've got a little bit more wrinkles out there. This is making me feel a little bit more creative. That shade is, is very warm. It's actually very lovely. And then I'm gonna take this shade over here called Sensual, which is this one right here. Sorry, my nails are all ganked up. I'm gonna take that same blush, brush and I'm just flipping it over. Inner portion, I basically took the, shade insatiable on the outside inner half they're blending together very pretty i feel like uh insatiable was a little bit more metallic whereas sensual glitter to it but it's suspended glitter on a matte base which i think i can use to my advantage i'm actually really enjoying that that's actually really pretty okay i need something more in here i'm gonna take the shade actually i think i'm just gonna go back into moody this one right here and i've got a little bit more of a po pointed dome brush this is a refer 26 and i'm just gonna deepen up it's just a little bit and that should blend in the top lid yeah i like that 
a drag down lash line. I basically just flipped that brush over so I gently blend the shade that I had there before. Yeah, love that. Super pretty. Okay, I think I'm gonna use Hot in here, which is this light pink right here. I'm really loving how pretty and kind of raspberry color that is. I'm gonna throw some mascara on. Let's just see. Okay, you guys, as I was looking at it and putting on, you know, the mascara on my top lashes, I thought, you know what, I really wanna go into this teal color called Fantasy. And I'm gonna take a little bit of that on the tip of this brush under, I didn't put any mascara on yet, <laughs> which is a good thing. And this shade has a little bit of shimmer to it, but I'm not getting a ton of fallout, which is really nice. Yeah, that gives that, that a little bit more drama. I'm actually gonna take a little bit more of it up here. And I wouldn't, I've gotten more comfortable with combining shades and being a little bit more creative. There was a time that it was all monochromatic looks all the time, and I would never have com combined kind of like this teal in this raspberry color together. But kind of like that. It's maybe a little heavy underneath, um, but I think that actually ended up turning a little bit more kind of like a smoky gray, like a blue gray, as opposed to a teal green. Yeah, I like that. That's a lot of fun. Okay, you guys. So that's two looks of this palette. I'm going to take this off really quickly. I'm going to come back with the third and final look. So give me just a moment. Okay, you guys, I'm back a little bit more cleaned up here. I'm going to take this. Oh, there's Zeus shaking his collar at me. I'm going to take this light, super light matte shade in here called Playful. And I've just got a big fluffy brush. I'm going to take that all over my lid. I did use that Charlotte Tilbury uh, Radiant Concealer again. And so I'm just taking this. It's almost like the like a, oh, I would call it a translucent powder, but it's really not. Maybe vanilla. So I'm just using this to set down that concealer so that I have a little bit more of a dry base for the eyeshadow. I should have scooted in a little bit. I'm sorry, you guys. I want to do something with this yellow in here. This, this, there's a, like a marigold shade that I think is really pretty. Marigold shade right here called, or mustard shade called Desire. The dress that I'm wearing right now has a lot of cool tones in it, but a little bit of a brown. So I'm kind of maybe bringing that to the forefront a little bit with this. This yellow I think would make a fantastic transition shade. And if you're someone who likes, doesn't like pastels, but likes lighter shades, if that makes sense, like this is not pink. <laughs> this is not pink and this is not lilac or baby blue, any of those types. It is a, uh, it's a, it's a yellow, but it's a warm yellow. Anyway, it's a softer shade is what I'm trying to say here. It's not super saturated or opaque, but I think you could probably build it up. I'm going to take the shade right here called Mischievous, 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 and I'm going to grab, it's definitely uh, like a warm orange, kind of a, kind of a sienna, almost pumpkin-y shade. These eyeshadows feel very lightweight, if that makes sense. Like I can barely, they don't feel heavy blowing on the lid. And I'm just lightest amount of this to buff in here. Sometimes when I watch my videos, I realize that I'm pushing my eyelids very hard with the, uh, with the brush and almost like bending the brush, well, or like totally bending the black brush. You don't, I don't think you got. <clears throat> so I'm trying to work on keeping my hand back a little bit and brush to do all the work as opposed to use hand to do all. Lipstick that I'm wearing seems like it's gonna be a little too pink for this. So I'm gonna have to change it out, but that's okay. We've got plenty of lipstick. Okay, I like that. I like the way that's that's turning out here. Let me take a little smaller brush and I'm gonna go into the shade down here called Alluring. I think I've used this already, but we're gonna use that a little bit closer to the lash line. One of the things that I'm noticing about this palette is it's actually a couple things really. One of them is laid out very well, even though I'm bouncing all over the place in the palette. I think, and I'll show you just here in a second. I think that it's it's actually, there's a lot of, makes sense in a lot of ways. Um, I think there's a, a bunch of different ways to get it. But I also like the fact that they go on very soft and sheer. When you just pick up a little amount, they're going on not patchy at all. They're actually going on very nicely, but they do build up, which is kind of my favorite type. I either like, you know, to be able to build up easily to cover up any kind of patchiness, if there is any, or I like to be able to shear it out so that it, I get to the right saturation level, depending on the, where I'm going that day. I hear people you use this palette and they said, oh, this has become my favorite fall palette. And even though I know that, you know, we're getting into a little bit, getting closer into winter months here, I do feel like there's some, I don't know, kind of like cozy fireside vibe, which I'm totally digging here. So I think what I want to use is this shade right here called Wild at Heart. I'm just going to grab it with my finger as opposed to like the flat brush that I used last time. I'm going to tap a little bit of it off on my back of my hand. I feel like it's such a soft formula. And even though I patted some of it on the back of my hand, I'm getting a little bit of fallout. Okay. I like that. I think that's actually really pretty. Oh, let me grab it with my other hand. Yeah, this palette is super versatile. And if you can pick up one of these, you know, on sale, I think it totally makes sense. I think I got mine with uh, a coupon from Ulta, so I didn't pay full price to this, and I didn't buy it when it first came out either, but 
saw the people using it and then I was like, man, I feel like I'm missing out. Fear of missing out, FOMO. Don't get sucked into that, you guys. Blending the shimmers in a little bit. That looks pretty good. Yeah, I like this. This is not, uh, this is definitely not like date night. <laughs> this is not craziness, but this is good for what I've got going on for the rest of the evening. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of that glitter fallout. There's nothing wow about this. I think it's pretty, but I am not like blown away by it. I'm gonna grab, we're gonna take this black shade in here called Animal Instinct, just a clean pencil brush. Let's see how opaque this is. Uh, not bad, not bad at all. I'm just gonna use it a little bit out here to kind of lift the eye a little bit. Cause this is the good kind of draw, the bad kind of. Yeah, a little bit of intensity back there. That looks nice on this side. And just a little tiny bit of it onto the lower lash to smoke together. I'm gonna clean off my brush and I'm gonna go into Alluring, which is this warm brown right here. Again, just the same brush. I just picked a little bit more of it. And I'm gonna take it a little bit higher than that and softening up that black line. So we have the shade, but we don't have like a super harsh look. That's actually real pretty. I clean up the brush a little bit. I'm gonna go back into Mischievous, which is this kind of reddish brown here. I'm gonna take a little bit of this on my brush underneath. Underneath the black, kind of blended in with that shimmer. The brush here, we're gonna go into Sundown, which is this champagne-y, almost looks a little bit like a duochrome, but I don't think it is. Very, very creamy. We're gonna pop that right in the corner. Let me put some mascara on and clean up here in a little bit, and then I'll finish up this conversation about this. Okay, guys, I'm back. I put on some mascara, changed out my lipstick. I actually changed it to the Too Faced Melted Matte. Uh, this one's in Pumpkin Spice, which I think actually works really well with a kind of a little bit warmer, I'm gonna call this a fireside eyeshadow. I actually really like it. This, okay, so here's my final thoughts on this palette. First of all, let me find out how much it cost. The Tarte Maneater After Dark eyeshadow palette looks like you can get it at Ulta before any kind of discounts for $52 and it's got a 4.6 out of 5 stars is what I'm seeing when I Google it. Most people buying this are not into the basic looks with one or two shades being used. So here's the thing. It says it's not for basic or for beginning, beginners. I disagree. I think you could absolutely use this for, for every day. I mean, that was the first review, so I didn't dig too far into it. I don't like to do re look at reviews from other people before I formulate my own opinions because I like to be clear-headed and I like to go, is it going to work for me in my lifestyle? Is it, I'm not going to be convinced of something that isn't going to really work for me. So anyway, I try not to. I try not to fall into that trap at all. But anyway, this this palette is a collection of warms and cool tones, right? Like the these two rows down here are definitely your warm two rows, uh, these two closest to the mirror, and then these two are a little bit more of your cool tone rows. And I didn't necessarily notice that at first because I was at lo first looking at down these columns to see if I could get a look. And I think just about every one you can. This one's gonna be too shimmer heavy for me because I don't usually do looks that are all shimmers. But if you're like a bronzer and a super shock, then you know that might might work for you if you just wanna like a one and done, a little bit of a sparkly look. This row over here is probably gonna be too, too light for me personally because I like to have a little bit more of a dark drama. So maybe the, maybe going down the rows isn't, or going down the columns isn't the right thing to do. Going down the rows, you get some really beautiful looks. And I think that makes sense because you're staying within sort of like a color story family. However, that's just too many shades for me to wanna put on my eyelids on a regular basis. And then I like to look at things, you know, can you go down a diagonal? Sometimes, I don't always remember to do that and then of course with the squares so that's going to be super dark and smoky that's beautiful that's beautiful as I go around looking at squares of shades I get a lot more interest a lot more creativity a lot more dynamic in the eyeshadow and I think that this uh, this sh this palette is actually really beautiful I think that there's enough about it that is everyday wearable that you don't have to be intimidated by it. Like you can literally look at this and go, I'm gonna put on two, maybe three shades and be out the door. And I think that gives you that. I'm actually gonna take this shade right here called Heated, which is like a copper, it's like a, a I mean, it's a copper shade. I'm gonna put a little bit right here in the middle of my lip. Okay, that's kind of fun. That's different and unexpected. And I don't know what possessed me to wanna do that, but. There you have it. This is what I'm going to wear for the rest of the day. I hope you guys are doing really well. Let me know down below. Tell me, did you guys pick up this palette? Were you at all interested? Were you waiting for my review or somebody more professional? Now, if you have it, what's kind of like your favorite color combination? Sound off down below and tell me what shades you like the most out of this palette. I would really would love to do that because that'll give me some inspiration to play some more too. I would say that probably one of my favorite shades in here, and I don't even think I used it in any of my looks, is this shade right here called Nightfall. It's kind of like a shimmery cocoa. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of it here on my finger. It's dark and a little bit more of a cool tone, but it is beautiful and, and rich 
and saturated and you saw how easy that went on that went on so smoothly yeah that's that's my favorite shade in this palette in case you wanted to know anyway i hope you guys are doing really well and uh stay tuned there'll be more videos here in the next couple days i love you guys and uh until my next video bye for now